Hello and welcome to another episode of the Medical. This is Smitty from 60cards.com. Uh, I got a new deck list for you. I posted it uh, last night. So basically I've been working on it. I've tuned it up a little bit. Got some input from from some other people. Been testing it against some uh, Twin Blade decks, some Volokut decks, uh, some Vampires. So the matchup I got for you today is the um, Splinter Twin Rug deck. Uh, this is just showing how the deck can get out of like a crazy situation. I mean, really, it comes down to Birthing Pods, a very powerful card, uh, still extremely underrated. But anyway, so here's the list right now. Uh, really, the, the idea of the deck is that it comes from an aggro standpoint. However, it's got kind of the combo pieces in it for Splinter Twin and Deceiver Exarch. Uh, d however, Splinter Twin's not just for the Deceiver Exarch. If you uh, notice, you can pop it on an Acidic Slime, a Frost Titan, a Metamorph is a great target. Um, it, so there's more than one good target for it here, uh, especially Acidic Slime and Frost Titan. Often that'll just end the game and they'll scoop phase anyways. So really you've got close to 11, actually you do have about 11 uh, cards, well plus the Worm Coil 12, that uh, can pretty much end the game if left unanswered. So, um, but I, I had added the Avenge Vines just because the deck needed some pressure, uh, and to make Venge Vine better, obviously we need more creatures. So we cut the Explorers for the Nest Invaders because it accomplishes the same thing mostly, in that it ramps you. Uh, it'll recur Venge Vine. It also helps the aggro matchup because we get the tokens, and all you want to do is block 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 until you can get to four or five mana so uh, the deck's been much more tuned I cut the copper line gorge for raging green uh, also to be more aggressive the come into play taps fine because we only have one turn one play yet we still have ten green sources for the birds of paradise so anyways uh, enough rambling uh, and here here goes the game against my buddy prologue theory here on moto he's been helping me test against volaku and rug twin uh, these are just quick games. They're fantastic. So, by the way, this hand, um, you always want the one or two drop. You want quick hands. Don't keep a hand against uh, any deck, especially, th and I'm talking post-meta J Stoneforge, by the way, guys. Uh, you don't want to keep hands with just a three casting cost or up. You need a one or two drop. Um, to, to get it going, even if it's just one, because you want to be proactive, you're not a reactive deck, so play it that way. Uh, so here we go, we're fine. We don't have much gas, but Birthing Pod is always gas, so keep that in mind. So here, um, you gotta be careful. I mean, you could, I could have just popped down Birthing Pod for three. However, he's got the man open, he probably is a leak, so we try to bait it and it actually works here we get rid of the nest invader pop a fetch and we get the birthing pod online um, and this is a uh, game one so he doesn't have the artifact hate for it and in fact uh, we can really change our sideboard and the sideboard might end up changing because of this the fact that we can uh, change our sideboard to become more aggro and just remove the enchantments and removal uh, will create completely dead cards in your opponent's hand so you're at a strict advantage there in fact we'll probably put the fourth venge vine in the side so i'll post the list what i think it should be at at this point um, that's great a bolt here would have been devastating as it always is when your cobra dies if cobra sticks it's very powerful we don't have much going on here uh... we need we need to draw something uh, birthing pod can get us up there a little bit better and you'll see here it's kind of a good play here um, uh, by the way also the the theme of the deck is aggro but it's also aggro land destruction uh, because we got the turn three acidic slimes um, we've got the frost titans and uh, if you play a uh, deceiver exarch right because we got the mana ramp you can cut them off their lands on their upkeep and uh, it's a really useful play so there's a lot of land destruction theme in this so we're gonna pop that and get an exarch out but what's fantastic is I don't have the combo piece I'm not gonna just leave an exarch out there and bank on drawing a, a splinter twin so we're gonna untap the pod and actually we get to use pod twice with the deceiver exarch so once again a ton of uses for deceiver exarch in here the fact that it's a 1-4 is great for the aggro matchup um, so it, it's just a fantastic use of it. We get a beat for four that way too, and you know we are an aggro deck, so we do want to get in damage where we can. Uh, that is rough. There's not too many outs at this point. We need to draw something like we need to draw the frost or the or an acidic slime or a metamorph 
or even a uh, another birthing pod would have helped get us there but uh, we did get an answer as there are a lot in this deck the top decks are actually rather good so we get to tap down his dude he's gonna redirect it which can hurt so we're gonna need one more top deck we needed run a runner this game and we did get it uh, which you know it is lucky but it does happen this deck's kind of built for it and usually pod will get us there and often we're not facing frost titans however um, I think we will be a lot more once this meta comes so just because we'll be seeing Volokut and remember how good Frost Titan was against it and that's kinda why I built this deck because I'm expecting Splinter Twin and Volokut heavily so both those decks can be destroyed by cutting off their mana sources um, and that's that's how this deck spawned uh, but so the aggro matchup I, d I decided actually was suffering so I had to make some adjustments for that and this list does compensate for that uh, so we're in a very very rough position obviously he's gonna get up to three cards we get the slime and uh, here's here's where it gets awesome because we get to get rid of the spell sky which is gonna be a problem for us um, and because we got the cobra and we got the 26 land deck we just got plenty of land to do what we need um, so we're gonna tap it down we got the two to pay we got to sack the acidic slime for the second frost titan and we're going to attack with the frost titan leaving his sphinx down so he's going to have to block and uh... that that's pretty much game there's no answer for him at this point in those colors so um, just wanted to share with you that uh, i hope that's enough insight so you get an idea oftentimes when i'm writing the articles um, I, you know i'm giving you a list and giving you a paragraph or two uh... and i get a lot of people saying this deck is in all sorts of directions and it's frustrating to see that sometimes because really it's an extremely focused deck in my mind it's just an aggro deck that um, it's, a, it's, it's a tempo aggro deck that keeps them off their land so that your creatures can continue to beat and you just gain that continual advantage with uh, the birthing pod so um, the, here's one game for you hopefully a lot more to come and uh, hopefully some live ones it did go 3-1 in a daily today and that's in the Cobblade meta because Jason Stoneforge don't rotate out until the 29th so it showed pro it, it would have showed promise then I think it's really gonna show promise after the uh, the bannings take place so uh, thanks for listening